guys, Jen here, and today it is Halloween, so happy Halloween. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Um, this is my project share for what I was making for the Memory Decks Obsessed and More group on Facebook. We were to make a purse and a Memory Decks, and we could make it fall themed or Halloween themed. We were just supposed to kind of get with our partners and see what they wanted to do. Unfortunately, I never heard back from my partner, so I went ahead and I made something that I absolutely love, and it is a Hocus Pocus themed purse and memory decks, and I wanted to share with you guys exactly what I made and what I did with those faux clay bits that I made the other day on TikTok out of the Shrinky Dink paper so that you guys could see exactly how I planned on using them. I didn't use a specific... Um, paper pad or anything for this project. I just used things that I thought kind of went with the Hocus Pocus theme, um, except for the paper that I did purchase was um, from Tracy Reed Designs, and it was a Hocus Pocus uh, paper, and um, it also came with uh, ephemera and stuff like that. I'll have to leave a link down below. And um, I bought it, like I said, from Tracy Reed Designs, and uh, the whole thing was only $8, and it's totally worth it, but I only used a few pieces here. I plan on using some more next year, um, but it was all digital, so it was really easy to use. So let me go ahead and start with that paper, which right here, it is on my Winifred dress. It is the paper that I have backed it on that I was planning on gifting. And um, so the dress form, the witch dress form and hat, are also designs by Miss Manthe and uh, you guys know I love her. I love her free SVGs and all three dresses that I'm going to show you for each of the sisters here are from designs by Miss Mandy and um, I just chose which outfits I thought would look best for each sister and of course used colors, uh, colored paper that I thought made it appear more to be like each sister. This is my Winifred here. And uh, I've sewn along all the edges with some gold thread, and I've also made sure to add a tiny little bow closure there. And everything is real thick. I've added it up on um, foam tape. And then I just found my favorite um, clip art pieces that I used to make my faux clay bits there, and I went ahead and used those again to kind of keep everything cohesive. Um, the next sister I have right here is Sarah, and Sarah is the youngest. There we go. And she's definitely a little more flirty, so her dress is, I chose the off-the-shoulder dress with the big, long, open sleeves there, the bell sleeves. And I've also used the gold thread to uh, um, go ahead and do all of the outside edges there as well as the um, the lacing in her corset and that's the dress I chose for her and for Miss Mary here this is the dress I thought was perfect for her and like I said I just chose papers that represented it the dress as best as I could and of course, I also did the gold thread accents on them as well. Hold on guys, sorry about that. Um, of course, I also included some candy. And here is just a silver swirly lollipop. And then I also, um, I had this little uh, plastic container here and I filled it, well, I backed it with that paper from Tracy Reed Designs, and um, I filled it with little cabochons and beads and erasers that all went with my Hocus Pocus theme. I was also going to share with my partner these rub-ons from the Dollar Tree. I really loved the cauldron and the black cat it reminded me of Binks. I thought these were really cute and went with my Hocus Pocus theme pretty well. And then I've taken an extra one of the little um, glass potion bottles from Target. And I have filled it with this Ultimate Halloween sequin mix here. 
We've got lots of purples and oranges and lime greens and stars. Just a bunch of different little sequins that felt very Halloween to me. And like I said, the potion bottle was from Target and it held um, some really big sequins. I think this one was the Boo sequin. It's just over in the, the uh, Target dollar spot this year and last year, I believe. For my memory decks card, I made book. I thought this guy turned out so great. So I just went ahead and took a basic rectangle shape on my um, Cricut and I cut it out uh, after I wielded the um, memory decks bottom to it. For all of the um, raised pieces here, I used my glue gun and I kind of made all of the places where I knew I wanted to like uh, add the dimension to. And then I added over that, I used um, tissue paper and I just decoupaged it all over so that it gave it that kind of leathery texture. And I painted everything with like an acrylic paint except for the um, embellishment pieces, which I hit with my silver paint pen. And I actually took these and went over and sewed them and uh, with some silver thread and I went ahead and, um, oh, the little eyeball. The little eyeball was just, I found an eyeball I liked online, cut it out, print it, cut it out, put it there. And uh, like I said, I used the hot glue around it to kind of give it the uh, illusion of an eyelid. And then I used my glossy accents on top of it to uh, make it appear more eyeball-like. The, um, Oh my goodness, I can't think of what they're called all of a sudden. The spine, there we go. The spine of the book here is about a quarter of an inch wide. And then, of course, I had to do the same process on the back to make it appear um, like book. And so this was what the actual, um, I used craft card stock. So that's what it looked like untouched before I added any of the acrylic paint or tissue paper or anything. Um, once I started to add spells to book here, um, it got a little thick, so I added a Velcro closure to kind of keep it closed so it didn't just pop open. And the um, paper is just um, some white uh, cardstock. And of course, the uh, spell that I wanted to share was the Black Cat Curse because Binks is everyone's absolute favorite, I believe. So um, this is word for word the spell that they use in the original Hocus Pocus movie. And then over here I've used a little piece of cat ephemera to add to it. And like I said, I had to add the Velcro so the <laughs> book stays shut. Otherwise it would um, fly wide open with all the, um, the thick paper in there. Um, as for aging the paper, I just went ahead and used my scissors along the side to kind of scuff it up a little bit and wrinkle it. And then I just watered down some acrylic paint, some brown acrylic paint, and went to town on, on it. And so that's what it looks like from this angle as well. Now for my absolute favorite piece, the cauldron purse. <laughs> so the cauldron itself I made on um, my Cricut Design Space. I found my favorite shaped cauldron because I wanted a, um, I don't know, I wanted kind of a squatty one. And then I offset uh, the center there and I went ahead and cut that part out. I used, to cut the actual um, cauldron shape here, I cut out one, two, three, four, five, six different um, cauldrons, three of them in the 110 pound cardstock, the black cardstock, and then the other three in the decorative pieces are the decorative paper there. And I just used colors that I thought would make a really great cauldron. This is like a, I think a brocade is what you call it. It's just a fancy um, black. And in the center of each of the little flourishes is a little skull head, but I don't think you can even tell with the way I've covered it up so much. 
Um, I use silver holographic for the feet and the handles. And then for the contents of the cauldron there, I had this like fuchsia um, marbled paper, but it looked like uh, liquid to me. So that's why I decided to use it. Um, the bubbles themselves, I used a one inch hole punch. And then for the half an inch and the one and a half inch bubbles, I used my Cricut to just cut those out. The acetate that I have on the front of the cauldron here is a silver star acetate so I made sure to cut that out and add it to the bubbles as well so it was definitely more cohesive. I've also added some sequins to you know add to the bubble effect there. Now for my little uh, embellishment cluster here on the side I have some glitter tool. I cut out these different spider webs with my Cricut um, my little binks here is actually from a Michael's ephemera pack, I think from last year. And I just thought he looked like binks, so I thought it was really cute. I've used my Cricut to cut out um, the Hocus Pocus there. And uh, I just uh, used the silver holographic paper. The pumpkins, of course, are from the Dollar Tree sticker pack. And then I found this clip art of book here and I cut him out on cardstock and just added a um, little glossy accent to his eye to make him a little more um, realistic looking, I suppose. And of course I've used black thread to sew all around each of it to add some more um, texture to it. Here I've added a witch's broom charm and this witch's broom was made for me either last year or the year before, but I thought it went perfect with this and needed to be on here. Also at the top of the witch's broom is um, a black S, this is an SVG and I just printed it on my shrink paper and it's uh, the black cat and it says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. And then I made a little dangly with the um, shrink paper as well making the Sanderson sister charms. Each one of them have a charm. We have Winnie, Mary, and Sarah. And then of course I've used beads that um, just accentuated the whole design. And then here is a closer look at the faux um, clay bits that I put inside with my shaker mix there. Kind of uh, make it a little more fun. And um, I just wanted to tell you guys that's exactly how I planned on using those faux clay bits just in case anyone was wondering why in the world I was making so many the other day. Um, here is a side view of the purse. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me move that guy. So here's the side view. It's just that black paper. And then for the um, brads holding the strap together there, they were just a silver brad and I added a gem to it. The back is just the black paper with the holographic feet and arms. And of course I added the bubbles to it. This is the top of the purse and it is just the, um, it's just that um, marbled paper. And of course I went ahead and made sure I used it on all of the, I made sure all of the pieces are covered. And so it's all finished. And then when you open to reveal the inside part of the purse, I wanted this big hocus pocus reveal. And then that's just the inside of the cauldron purse there. I just went ahead and made a simple little um, square box that fit on the inside of the cauldron so that it all went together. Uh oh, hold on. I didn't align it very well. There we go. And that is the purse that I made. If you guys have any more questions and you want something answered, go ahead and leave something in the comment section and I will try and answer it as best as I can. Like I said, I'm going to leave the, um, the links down below for the Tracy Reed Designs digital paper and for Miss Mandy's beautiful free SVGs for the um, outfits. I believe she calls them the witch dress forms. And um, like I said, if you guys have any more questions, be sure to go ahead and leave me a comment down below. 
if you guys like what I did and you want to see more of this, please like, subscribe, etc. I know I hate to say all that stuff. Um, but the more people that see this, hopefully the, you know, more people I can share my creativity with. So um, thank you guys for watching and once again, happy Halloween.